Hey crafters, Lisa here from Fun Stuff Crafts. So glad you could join me for another Inspiration Friday. So Valentine's Day is next month and so I've been putting together some Valentine's themed projects and the one that we're going to be doing today is right behind me and we are going to actually sew this garland. So it is super simple. This is a great project even for a beginner sewer. So there's a couple options when you're doing this type of project. So I'm using paper in my project and I did use my Cricut to cut out um, my hearts. But if you don't have a Cricut, if you've got a punch or if you just want to cut your hearts out, that works out great too. So. I'm going to join you at my craft room table and I'm going to show you the last steps that I did um, making my hearts with my Cricut. But before we get there, you guys, I have to thank you guys so much for stopping by my channel. And you guys, if you're new to my channel, why don't you click on that subscribe button down below? I try to upload a video every Friday. That's why we call it Inspiration Friday. And if you click on that bell, YouTube should alert you each time I upload a new video. So give me a second. We're going to get our camera angle changed and we are going to get making this cute heart garland. So we've got our hearts all cut out and I did use my Cricut for this. Of course, if you guys don't have a Cricut, you can definitely just cut these out. My hearts are two and a half inches. And I just want to show you, I've already taken these ones off of my Cricut mat. But I just want to remind you guys of a tip when you're removing items from your mat that I always recommend that you peel from the back. Let the mat pull away from the paper. And then when you lift it up, you will have all of your images. Okay, and these are, they're just little stuck on just a little bit kind of reminds me of when I used to play with paper dolls <laughs> when I was little so I'm just going to take my hearts out and then the next thing we're going to want to do is decide on how we want our pattern to go of our garland now I ended up with four different um, hearts um, I've got my red glitter my kind of my rose gold um, glitter, excuse me, my rose, it's a pink, not gold. Um, and then I've got a cute pink pattern and I've got this um, silver pattern. So I just need to decide how I want my pattern to go. And I think I'm going to go with it this way. And what I find the easiest is before I take this over to the sewing machine and I'm going to start sewing is I like to stack mine and so as I'm at the sewing machine I have these all ready to go so I'm just going to go ahead and stack them in the order that I'm going to want to sew them and then one other thing we're going to grab is we're going to grab a little piece of ribbon and the only reason I like to add ribbon to the end of my garland is to make it easier to hang like if you're using one of those command strips to hang it um, and i'll show you how easy that is when we get this all done and we're going to hang this up across my barn doors so i'm going to go ahead and just get these all stacked up and then what i'm going to do is we're going to hop over to my sewing machine and we are going to put this cute garland together and it's going to be easy as can be so see i've got it all piled up we're ready to go. I'm going to meet you over at the sewing machine. Okay, so I got my machine loaded and I decided to load my machine with a light pink thread. And then I have got um, two inches each, so four inches all together of ribbon. And I am just going to take one two inch piece and I'm going to fold it in half. And I'm just going to um, stitch right across that. So I'm going to put that right underneath my presser foot and I'm going to put my presser foot down and I'm going to do a stitch across it and I'm going to put a little knot and then I'm just going to go across it a couple times. Okay, just enough to get it. Okay, so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to let my machine sew 
about seven stitches, seven or eight stitches, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is I am gonna take my first heart, and what I wanna do is I wanna make sure my hearts are about the same, um, sewn across the same. So I've got a one inch plate uh, mark on my plate right here, and I'll show you a close up view of that. I'm trying to measure the top of my hearts on that. So that way I'm gonna be sewing across every heart the same. And I'm literally just gonna take my paper, I'm trying to keep my fingers out of here so you guys can see this, and I'm just gonna take it and I'm gonna sew straight across. And then when I get to the end of the first heart, okay, I'm just gonna let it go about five to seven more stitches. Okay, and I'll do one more. So there's seven stitches, and then I'm gonna take my next one. And this, you guys, we're just gonna follow this pattern all the way through. So I will just fast forward through this so you guys can see how this all works, but I'm just gonna start sewing my hearts together. guys I'm on my last star so I'm gonna let it go about five stitches again make that seven <laughs> and then I'm going to put my other um, piece of ribbon in and I'm gonna just sew across it and I'm gonna back stitch on it and then I'm going to cut my threads and we have got a really cute heart garland. So I'll show you what it looks like hanging up. So I thought it would be fun to show you another cute option to make your um, garland maybe hang from your window or from your door. You can see the one I've got behind me is the one that we just made. But what I want to show you is one that could be like a 3D version. So I went ahead and just cut four more um, hearts um, in two different colors. And so I've got eight hearts all the way together. And so here's an example of two of my hearts. Okay. And so what I'm going to do now on the sewing machine is I'm going to place them wrong side to wrong side, okay? So I've got, I show a, a heart here and I show a heart here, okay? So I'm going to do that with, and I've got some cute red ones. I'm going to do the same thing with that one. And then the other ones, I thought it would be fun to mix it up. And so I'm going to put a white back and a red back, okay? And then what I'm going to do, instead of sewing across like we did for the garland behind me, is we are actually going to sew straight up and down. And then once we show, excuse me, once we sew, then I'm going to show you how you fold it so you've got a 3D heart. So let's um, give you guys an angle of the sewing machine just so we get that sewing part done. And I'm gonna go ahead and add on a little bit of my thread. Just like, I'm not gonna put the ribbon on this one because I just wanna show you really quickly what this looks like, you guys. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and give a little bit of chain on my thread. did about 15 stitches and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this down and I'm gonna raise my presser foot up I've actually got my needle down I've got my presser foot up and I've come right in the crevice of that heart okay I'm gonna put my foot down and I'm gonna sew straight down to the tip okay I'm just really carefully do that OK, 
okay and then i'm going to do the same chaining like i did on the other one i'm going to do about 10 on this one just to give it a little bit more so okay i'm going to let my needle come down i'm going to raise it up and i'm going to put my needle right there and i'm going to put it back down down to that point and then go 10 more okay my needles down I'm gonna bring my heart in and I'm gonna do the exact same thing my last one and I'm going to do 15 chains again okay so then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut my thread here oops did that in the wrong order Lisa okay and now what you have is you have got your chain just like this, okay? So what we're gonna do now is we are going to take our hearts and we're gonna fold them out. So right on where you've got that seam, you're just gonna fold them out. So I'm gonna do that for each heart. Be easier if I was doing this on the table, you guys, but I figured I'd just do it right as I finished it. So as I just, and I'm folding the good, the print side to the print side, okay? And then get this last one done here, be an ornery, okay? So then what we have, and I'll pick up that tail, is now what we've got is we've got a 3D heart. And so this type of um garland you could hang from your doorway so just another option of how you can put these garlands together and here's what our hanging garland looks like i'm so glad you joined me for another inspiration friday and i was able to show you two versions of a simply sewn garland if you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I so appreciate you stopping by today. And if you're looking for more craft ideas, check out my blog at funstuffcrafts.com for other DIY type projects.